Hey YouTube, what's going on? Sorry, I was uh, <clears throat> making sure the train was done making racket. <laughs> it's crazy to hear the airbrush guy, but you know that already. <clears throat> and man, I've got some cool stuff to talk about and some cool stuff to show you. So I hope you got a few minutes to hang out. This is going to be really awesome. <laughs> I was just going through my Etsy page where I sell most of my stuff. I wanted to... Uh, show you guys but i don't know if i can <clears throat> but like like for instance you've probably seen this canvas before it's 11 by 14 canvas you've probably seen this metal skull before i sell all this stuff on my etsy page it's easy to find look me up on etsy crazy thing art on etsy.com or there should be a link in the description of this video but like it's kind of cool because you see this and you're like, hey, I want it. Okay, go to my Etsy page and look for it. And then like, oh, look, there it is. Poof, there's a price and everything. Put that in your cart, check out. I'm going to ship it to your house. It's that easy. But that's not the only reason I got on here. I know most of you know how to do that already. There's a few of you that maybe that was helpful. But. I'm making this video to show you some really awesome stuff and to talk about something. Now I got some ridicule on one of the helmets I showed last time that had issues with the helmet and there was nothing I could do about it. <clears throat> uh, I run my business the way I see fit. They tried to tell me that I should not show my mistakes. That's not true. I want to be honest with you. I'm going to be wide open and transparent so that you can see exactly what I'm doing over here in my business. So you're going to see my mistakes as well. I'm okay with that. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm crazy thing the airbrush guy, not crazy thing the perfection guy. I do everything free-handed and I do the best I can with what I have in my little shop here by myself. That's what we're going to get. <clears throat> well, that being said... I've got another helmet. After the helmet, I've got something really awesome looking at me over here. I'm excited to show you that one, but we're gonna do the helmet first. <laughs> All right. This guy brought me a sports helmet. Asked me if I could paint it for him. And, and, uh, and it's a used helmet. He's had it for a long time. I think it's got some pretty good meaning behind it to him. and But it's pretty beat up. So, you know, there's only so much I could do about it and do with it. <clears throat> I sanded on it and cleaned it and cleaned it. I actually cleaned it like three or four times trying to get it right. I don't know how well the paint's even going to stick to it. it. You know, but like he said, he's going to use it. He's going to beat it up again. So it was originally white on this side. <clears throat> so I kind of did like a faded transition with some lightning bolts there that you can see. And, you know, that part's kind of rough. If you get up close, you can see it. it's, it's all beat up and rough. But that's okay. He knows that. Me and the customer, we communicate back and forth. I'll let him know exactly what's going on. So I took this dude apart, cleaned it, cleaned it, cleaned it. He's got a really cool concept, like a, a good and evil uh, concept going on with this. And I really like it. And I kind of su surprised myself on it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, here's the evil side. Look at this. The white transitions into a Grim Reaper. Oh my goodness, look at the glare on that. <laughs> I don't know if I can fix that. <sighs> Amazing camera work there. Do the best I can for you. All right. He transitions to a Grim Reaper. Again, I apologize for the glare. And then like a cemetery scene down here at the bottom. Got another ghosted skull in the back. I know it's hard to see. Just imagine trying to take pictures of this. This is why I love making YouTube videos. I can at least attempt to show you a little better and then explain myself instead of saying, hey, look at this helmet and people's gonna say, oh, it's got stuff all over it. Oh my gosh, you did such a horrible job because people love to get on there and judge me. And, I expect it to a point because a lot of people, they don't understand or they're not going to come to YouTube and do the research and understand why it looks this way. 
Well, you know, if you'd have spent three days sanding on it with this grit and this specific, I know, I know. But do you think the customer's really gonna pay for that much of my time? Look, we got a $2,000 helmet here because I had it for a month and worked on it to make it look brand new. Something that he's gonna go use and beat up. <clears throat> Come on. I'm in complete communication with my customers. They know what's going on. Now the back of it, I left blank right here. He's actually gonna get some vinyl letters with like some Bible verses and stuff and put right here. So that's gonna look really cool when he gets that done. But now check this side out. I showed you the evil side. Look at this. Look at that lion. I really like the way that lion turned out. I know it's difficult to see in the video, but if you look in the shadow of the lion, you can see Jesus wearing the crown of thorns. See that? I hope you can see it in the video. I apologize if you can't. I kind of makes me want to do that on something else. It's not as beat up. <laughs> I like the way it turned out. He's seen pictures. He's seen video. He likes the way it turns out. He's going to pick this up today, tomorrow. It's not perfect. Again, like I said, it's, it's beat up. It's got spots all over it. He understands that. And so that's why we were able to come to an agreement on price. <clears throat> but you're going to have that. There, there's reasons for all my madness when I post something and you see my mistakes and whatnot. There's reasons for it. And I communicate that with my customers. Hey, like, here's an issue. Uh, I try to explain it beforehand. Hey, you're giving me something used. You know, there could have been oil or something all over that helmet that maybe didn't come off the three times I cleaned it. You know, it, I'm not liable for that. And that's okay. Like I said, as long as we keep a good communication, that's everything. <laughs> but I'm not done. <laughs> now that we're past the helmet, I'm going to show you something epic. This one gave me the heebie-jeebies just doing it. And that's right. I said heebie-jeebies because if you're still here, you're going to love this. I'm known for many things, and one of those things is toilet seats. You figured out where I'm going yet? I hope you guys drop me a comment after this. All right, if you don't share my work at least, maybe share the videos or something, do me a favor and make sure you at least comment on this video. The whole world should see this toilet seat. Check that guy out. Oh my goodness. Does it not look like he's, so oh, he's massive. He's just gonna jump right off of there. Careful, I think it moved. Oh my goodness. I told you, that's not all. I didn't just do that one side. It's typical for me just to do that top side. But no, they wanted more. This client, they knew what they wanted. Watch this. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? I do not like spiders. I am not a fan of them. Uh, they horrify me, but that looks cool. That is an, that is just a wicked look right there. Imagine this at your house, right? Or at somebody's house. That would just be so crazy. Just when you thought you've seen it all. Let me see if I can figure this out. All right, I'm gonna try the magic trick here. Lift that up. Watch this. Boom, there's another one down there on the underside of the seat. You know, for all you guys that are gonna go in there and lift both seats up, you're not done yet. <laughs> they are everywhere. I just got this dude put back together this morning trying to really watch my fingerprints because it's black so it shows up everything oh my goodness <sighs> trying to keep the dust and everything off of it man isn't it wicked looking uh watch this watch this
Oh man, tell me that's not cool. Even if you're not a fan of spiders, you should be able to appreciate the art in that right there. Or at least I, I hope you can. I can, I put a lot of time into that. I, that was a, that was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed that. Hey, if you didn't, it's okay too. You don't have to. You can, uh, you can tell me that I don't like that or you didn't do a very good job. If that's your opinion, you're welcome to, to voice that opinion. You have that right. But if you do like it, I would really appreciate you letting me know. Makes me feel good as an artist. Uh, I'm pretty confident in a lot of my work, but you know, having you guys support me, that means everything to me. That's how I can do this again tomorrow. That, that's how I get to continue this. I showed you where my Etsy page is in the beginning of the video. You can go there if you want to help support me. If you want a piece of your own, go check it out. Or maybe you know somebody else that might. Let them know too. Whoa. Crazy chair. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to jump off here. Get something else done today. Maybe I'll ship something to your house. I'll catch you in the next one.